Hi, I'm Sean Galusha. I am a fourth year journalism major here at, for the College of Science and Mathematics. And today I'm talking with Ari To, a public health third year from Cupertino, California, Bella Mualam, a fourth year public health major from Pasadena, California, and Tisa Teheranchi, a fourth year public health major from Phoenix, Arizona. How's it going? Good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So can you guys tell me a little bit about your experience with uh, research, undergraduate research here at Cal Poly and uh, what research that you guys do? Yeah, of course. So I can begin. We started our project together last summer We um, under our professor, Dr. Joni Roberts. And the project we were working on was um, finding appropriate solutions to sanitary products in Uganda. And through that product, uh, project, we were designing reusable menstrual pads for women in Uganda. And we did a little bit of a literature review before. Nice. Um, and so with this research, uh, I understand that you guys went to the ISSWSH annual meeting in 2021. That's the International Society for the Study of Women's Sexual Health. Can you tell me a bit about uh, what it was like presenting there and being honored for or recognized for your research? Yeah, um, it was a really cool conference that we got to go to. Unfortunately, it did have to be online because we are in the middle of a pandemic, but it was still a really great experience. It was a three-day conference, and I personally have never done anything like that until now, and we got to watch a couple other presentations from other professionals in the field of sexual health, and it was a really huge step from what I've been used to, at least. Yeah, it was a great experience because we got to see medical professionals as well as um, other professors from different universities. So it was really cool as a undergraduate research student to be able to see and, and work kind of in the same field with the people who were professionals in the medical field. Our involvement in it was um, we had a pre-recorded, um, I think a pre-recorded video that was around seven minutes long. Um, and we created a poster for that. And then um, our presentation was basically just explaining the research, the background, um, and then our prototypes. That's great. And so I understand that you were uh, offered a opportunity to write a uh, paper for under the uh, annual meeting for that'll be or going being written in the fall. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, Dr. Goldstein, who actually works for the journal uh, Sexual Medicine Reviews, reached out to us and wanted us to write a literature review on the value of sanitary products. And he's allowing us the freedom to kind of choose wherever we want to go with that. Um, and so, yeah, so we will start working on that in the fall and start the whole process and hopefully get published very soon. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about what it it's been like working directly with uh, Dr. Joni Roberts in your research group? Yeah, it, so working through Frost, it was an amazing experience because we got to create a connection with a professor. And then Tisa and I both created a connection, so uh, a good connection so far that we were able to continue on with research with her and do our senior projects with her. So I'm currently doing my senior project with Dr. Roberts and in her sexual and reproductive health lab. And we're doing a study looking at the condom, condom usage, knowledge, attitudes, and beliefs at Cal Poly. That's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, Dr. Roberts is um, an amazing resource, truly an, an invaluable resource to us. Um, additionally, uh, something really cool about Frost was the, um, throughout the summer, they held sem uh, weekly seminars that um, what just like educational resources um, on the research process as a whole. So I remember there was um, a seminar about da like data safety. Um, one week there was a seminar about how to properly present. Um, so Frost really is a truly a great resource for those like looking to get into the research field. Yeah, we also got to meet um all the other professors in our department, even who we weren't working with. So it was really cool to get to hear about all the other research experiences and what other professors were doing. So overall, how has uh, undergraduate research given you opportunities to uh, better yourself for your careers or internships, uh, maybe grad school? So for me personally, I knew I was interested in pursuing a career in the field of sexual health, but I wasn't sure where I could really take that because as far as I knew, um, like the only job opportunity I could really think of was education. But after like 
a couple years of working under Dr. Roberts, she's given me a lot of insight into the field and shown me that there is way more than just education when it comes to sexual health. Special thing about Cal Poly that sets us apart from other candidates in undergraduate schools is that um, since we're mostly an undergraduate university, we get a lot of hands-on research experience that a lot of other schools don't have. And so I know for me, when I've been applying to jobs and other um, schools and whatnot for these next coming years, um, people are really impressed by the amount of work that I've had in research because a lot of people don't have that experience. Yeah, for uh, just to kind of echo what Bella said, um, I'm also on kind of like a job hunt right now. Um, and I just right before this, um, I had an interview and they asked me to give like a quick presentation. Um, so I was able to present on this research topic that we just had. Um, and it's, um, yeah, it, it, it was a really, really unique experience that we got to share. Um, and it's, one, like it shaped kind of like what I want to do um, in the future, but also, um, of course, like it gives you um, a really good talking point and in, like interviews and um, kind of sets you apart from other candidates. Can you all tell me one of your best experiences working on uh, research at Cal Poly over the last couple of years? There's so many, it's hard to pick one. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I think for me, it's been. Um, having the opportunity to work with a team because that's an invaluable skill that we're gonna have to have for the rest of our lives. And so what, we have a team here that we had to work with this past summer. And so it was great to learn to work in a team setting. And then um, continuing with my research with Dr. Roberts, I am also a team leader now. And so having the ability to practice being a team leader and working with colleagues is a really, really great experience. It's not only helpful, but it's also so much fun. I've met, made some like great friends and great connections that I know I'll have for a long time. I think I really appreciate the, just like all the experience I've been able to get from this and being able to take what I learned from the classroom and put it into practice. And that really nails in the concepts for me. A lot of our public health classes, we cover like literature reviews and just how we would like like create a program and how we would implement it and then now I actually get to see what that looks like in the actual field itself too. Okay here's my last question and it's a good one. Um, if you had any advice for incoming freshmen or incoming students looking to do undergraduate research uh, what advice would you give them? I would um, say I'm oh, sorry, go for it, Tisa. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, I, I think I would say don't be shy. Um, just really um, like if you are interested in something that a professor is researching, um, email them, you know, reach out to them somehow, like get in touch, go to their office hours. Um, professors love to talk about their research and um, would love help, I'm sure. Um, and it's easy to get, just like Bella was saying earlier, it's easy to get involved um, in a research here and there's a need for it. Um, so yeah, definitely don't, don't be shy. Yeah, I, building off that, Tisa, I would definitely say just make those face-to-face -face connections. I know for me, um, pre-pandemic, I was able to make a face-to-face -face connection with Dr. Roberts before I even had um, started looking into the Frost Research Project for the past summer. But um, I know that just having professors know who you are and seeing your face really, really makes a difference. So definitely put your face out there and, and get yourself known because those connections are really, really important. I would also say just stay open-minded. Like even if a professor or a project that you're really interested in may not have the space for an undergraduate research assistant, they may still try to get you onto some other professor's research project and you may find something really, really interesting that you didn't expect to find. Absolutely, those are great words of advice. Um, well, Ari, Bella, and Tisa, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your experience with undergraduate research here at Cal Poly's College of Science and Mathematics. Uh, for our audience, you can find more spe uh, specific information about the college's programs in the links below, and I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Mm -hmm.